let's talk about back testing using the bar replay tool. So a few quick things. There are a number of ways that you can back test. The bar replay tool is one of them, and it's as easy as selecting the tool, clicking the starting point, pressing play, adjusting the time, and then watching the price of an asset on your chart play forward. It's like you're watching a movie. You're rewinding, clicking play, and then watching it again. But in this case, you can study the price action, place some trades, test some ideas, think through some, some concepts that may have worked in specific instances, and then using that to potentially make better decisions in the future. Now down here is our strategy tester. We'll have more on this later. Uh, this is a more advanced way to backtest your strategies or ideas, but the bar replay tool is really effective for those who are just getting started with the concept of backtesting or just looking for a tool to study price action. And you saw how we use it here. See our mouse where it is, it's hovering. We're moving the mouse around. It says bar replay. Well, we click that. And now what we have is a red line that follows our mouse wherever we go and that red line is your starting point so this is a daily chart of apple why don't we put our red line over a unique starting point that we think we would have looked to have placed a trade now this looks like an interesting starting point and we'll tell you why so what we're going to do is we're going to click and now the chart adjusts and it now takes us back in time we're at this starting point and up here is our bar replay toolbar where we can control everything. Jump to specific candles, press play, move forward, change the speed at which each candle will load. And then, of course, quickly jump to the real time trading right now. And this X will obviously exit us out of the bar replay tool. And what we're about to show you essentially works for any chart on TradingView. You know, we're looking at AAPL, that's Apple. It is currently a daily chart and we have candles, but this could work for bars, hollow candles, really any chart that you're looking into. Okay, why don't we walk you through a few things that uh, maybe we would use this as. All right, so here's a daily chart of Apple with our starting point here. And we notice a few interesting things. Looks like there may be some support since this gap up. Here's the gap right here. So something big happened. Looks like it was an earnings report. And price tested that level, and it seemed to have bounced off quite beautifully. Now, maybe our strategy is looking for setups like this. We like these types of double bottoms. And so we're saying, you know what? Price bounced. And if we were to trade our strategy in this moment in time, we would look to buy. So let's place a fake trade, a paper trade. Let's just see how we would have done. So we'll use our long position tool in this instance. And what we're going to say is, you know, we believe this is a good setup. So we would want to enter a trade tomorrow and we'll just place our starting point here. And we would look essentially to take a profit at some resistance. And what zone looks like resistance to us? Remember, this is what we're showing you is just for education and entertainment purposes. And essentially, um, we're just showing you a discretionary strategy or, you know, a way you could use this if you were just looking to, like we were saying, test some new ideas. Okay, so here's the trade we're placing. We are entering the trade, ideally in this region, tomorrow, because it's a daily chart. We're going to set our target. It's at 18% move. And the reason why we're picking that zone is because... It looks to us like there's some significant resistance in this area. You know, price chopped around here quite a bit. And you can kind of see it was, you know, choppy here. And even to this candle, huge red candle when it could not hold in that level. So if it goes back in there, we're more than happy to take our profit. Now, we did place a stop loss. That's the red area here. And our stop loss is, um, looks like about, you know, minus 8% or so. We could probably adjust this up just to the break. So let's put this to 5%. And 
the reason why we're placing our stop loss in this example for educational purposes is look it's breaking this support line so if it breaks just get us out and we're not even saying you know it has to break with real you know conviction just if it breaks this at all if it goes below this if it goes below this just get us out of the trade all right now that we've set up our hypothetical trade we'll slow down our bar replay and we will click play and there's the first candle so we would have entered the trade here and it looks like we did we would not have gotten stopped out why don't we speed this up a little bit and let's press play again so now a bar update every second and we'll press pause so far so good check it out our strategy off this double bottom not so bad why don't we press play again and we're watching we're watching we're still holding we're still holding we're still holding things look good wow check it out so our trade now would have been complete we had some early scares early on you know this candle here when we entered it did test some lows the next day was fantastic then we would have sat in a sideways action for quite some time and then lastly check it out it went right into our zone we would have sold and taken our profit target so not a bad test run for some things we might be looking for but you know let's click play let's really see is it that good of a trade could it have been better so we'll click play and you know what we will speed this up a little and wow so far the trade is playing out well so let's hit pause pretty fantastic we can walk away from this example and say that would have worked in this specific example of course remember this is really discretionary we're looking at one example we're just working through our thoughts doing some tests and it's not going to work every time we know that but the point is is that we have this bar replay tool which we can use to test out some of these ideas and and watch them in real time journal our thoughts and say okay this is something we actually want to try going forward because when we back tested it when we did when we ran some tests on our own we found some interesting findings that would support that this is a trade worth investigating in future instances now we'll just press play some more and we will drag our slider to speed it up let's just go to the end and there's apple to this point so pretty cool stuff that is one way you can use the bar replay tool so the key to remembering the bar replay tool and we're just going to clear this chart up is that it is located at the top of your chart and you click it and then you pick a starting point on your chart and we can go back to really any point in time you can really have some fun and as an example maybe you think that uh you know the dot com bubble and there's lessons to be learned in the dot com bubble and so we're just doing go to and let's see here 2000 we messed this up there we go so now check it out we're back to the year 2000 so we click our bar replay tool and then we click on this date and now how cool is this we can trade the dot com bubble we can study this price action with our bar replay tool we can place some test trades we can add some drawings you know in this example maybe we don't even want to uh, place any test trades with the long or short position tool maybe in this example we just want to draw out what our thoughts would have been in the year 2000 20 years ago so in this example we would say okay this is interesting we probably want to keep our eye on this level and if we were watching Apple we would watch this level here and another interesting one is probably this region here and equally interesting is we could take our fixed range volume profile let's start from this point into this point in time and we see that there's a lot of volume actually in this region hmm so maybe what we would expect from watching this chart is maybe quite a bit of chop and possibly like this a lot of this so we're just thinking through it. We're just really having fun in some respects. This is our way of 
you know, reliving the year 2000, following markets 20 years ago, and putting just some of our thought processes to, processes to test. All right, let's press play. And we can kind of see not so good so far. Uh, the rate, very interesting though, to see that our, the levels we selected have held up so well. And we're just watching, let's see, not so, okay, interesting. Wow, big breakout. So what we did there is we put our thoughts to test in the year 2000. Pretty interesting to see. We did okay for ourselves. And we're saying that because look at this, you know, we drew our line here and checked that wick out down. Didn't quite test these lows like we thought, but actually over here, it really tested those, those lows. And, um, and that's fun to see. That is one way that you can really get knowledgeable about markets. And the tool is entirely, you know, there's, there's an endless possibility to the way you can use the bar replay tool because we're just showing you a few examples here and now that you understand it we're going to exit out now that you understand it it's really just as easy pressing the replay button picking a point in time and then you know the as they say the world is your oyster just get started press play test some different time frames change the speed up draw some levels on your chart Maybe you could draw trend lines, Fibonacci, Elliott waves, anything you please. And you could just start to test your thoughts. Another really cool thing about the bar replay tool that you could do, and we'll just speed this up, for the fundamental traders out there, what you could start to do as well is plot some revenue estimates, for example, or some, or some fundamental metrics. And you could say to yourself, I want to see how good I would have been at predicted predicting these earnings reports. Is, are these things I would have modeled for or predicted based on these types of earnings trends? And then you can press play, speed it up, and you can watch in real time. So this is Apple's quarterly revenue. Check this out. We are watching Apple's live price and Apple's quarterly revenue. And what we're doing is just saying, how would we have done on the fundamental side, guessing some of these revenue metrics? we'll just let this play because it's just super interesting to watch. The line is moving with us. Each This is an earnings report. You see it spiked there. And we're just getting a feel for this is what happened in each earnings report. And we have price here to confirm that or just to gauge how the market reacted to these fundamental metrics. So really cool. You saw how we did that bar replay. Go to financials, add some financial metrics. Your drawings are over here as we showed you earlier. You can test your long and short position tool. You can draw some lines, custom drawings. There's Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, it's all here. And it all starts with clicking the bar replay button and getting started. So thanks for watching. We're gonna exit out now. We're going to just bring our chart back to where it was. And remember, bar replay tool. If you have any questions or comments, please ask them below. If you have feedback for us, that's also great. Our team is listening and we just may build something for you. So you can send us a piece of feedback or a feature request. Our team's watching and it just may take that feature request and implement it down the road. So thank you and we'll be seeing everyone shortly.